Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a very interesting maths Olympiad question. That is a plus 3 times a plus 5 times a plus 7 times a plus 9 is equal to 9. So here we will try to find all the possible solutions of this beautiful maths Olympiad algebra problem. Now how can we solve this math problem? So let's start our solution. First of all, here we can write this left hand side as we can write this as a plus 3 times a plus 9 times a plus 5 times a plus 7 is equal to 9. Let's multiply these two expressions and these two expressions. So this equation will become this will become this is simply a time a is a square plus 9a plus 3a plus 3 times 9 is 27 let's multiply these two expressions this will become a times a is simply a square plus 7a plus 5a plus 5 times 7 is 35 is equal to 9 let's further simplify these two expressions so this will become this is simply a square 9a plus 3a is simply 12a plus 27 times a square 7a plus 5a is 12a and we can write this 35 as simply 27 plus 8 is equal to 9 look into both the expressions in both expression this a square plus 12a plus 27 is common so here we will make some suppositions let us suppose let us suppose this expression a square plus 12a plus 27 is equal to another variable let us suppose x so this equation will become this will become x times x plus 8 is equal to 9 so this is x times x is x square plus 8x and we will take this 9 to the left hand side so this will become minus 9 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation here we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization method so therefore we can write this at x as x square plus at x is simply 9x minus x minus 9 is equal to 0 now there is x common in the first two expressions x plus 2 terms will become taking x common this will become x plus 9 now there is negative 1 common in these two terms so taking negative 1 common this will become x plus 9 is equal to 0 now there is x plus 9 common so taking x plus 9 common this will become x minus 1 is equal to 0 and the product of these two expression is 0 so here either this expression will be 0 or this one will be 0 so from here we will get x plus 9 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0 now what we will do here here we will replace x back with its expression that is a square plus 12 a plus 27 so these two equations will become x is simply a square plus 12 a plus 27 plus 9 is equal to 0 and this one will become x is simply a square plus 12a plus 27 minus 1 is equal to 0. Now let's solve these two quadratic equations. So this one will become this is a square plus 12a and 27 plus 9 is simply 36 is equal to 0. Now first we will try to solve this one quadratic equation. So therefore here we can write this equation further as this is a square plus 36 can be written as 6 square plus 12 is same as 2 times a times 6 is equal to 0. And this is an algebraic identity a square plus b square plus 2 times a b which is a plus b whole square. So this become a plus 6 whole square is equal to 0. There is square in the left hand side, so by taking square root on both sides, this will become a plus 6 is equal to 0. Here we will take this a 6 to the right hand side, so this will become 
a is equal to negative 6 so a is equal to negative 6 is our first real solution now we will try to solve this one quadratic equation so let's solve this equation so this is simply a square plus 12 a 27 minus 1 is simply 26 is equal to 0 and we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization method so here we will use a quadratic formula so find it here the value of a is 1 the value of b is 12 and the value of c is 26 now the quadratic formula is a is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a then substitute the value of abc from here so this right hand side will become a is equal to b is 12 so this will become negative 12 plus minus this will become 12 square minus 4 a is 1 and c is 26 divided by 2 times a is 1 so further this right hand side will become this is minus 12 plus minus square root of 12 square is simply 144 minus 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 times 26 is about 104 divided by 2 times 1 is 2 so further this right hand side will become this is negative 12 plus minus square root of 144 minus 104 is simply 40 but we can write this 40 as 4 times 10 divided by 2 so further this is minus 12 plus minus square root of 4 is simply 2 and square root of 10 will be the same divided by 2 there is two common in the numerator so by taking two common from the numerator this will become negative 6 plus minus square root of 10 divided by 2 2 and 2 will be cancelled so this will become negative 6 plus minus square root of 10 then we have two possible values of a data a is equal to negative 6 plus square root of 10 and negative 6 negative square root of 10 so finally here we have three possible solutions three possible real values of a a is equal to negative 6 and a is equal to negative 6 plus square root of 10 and a is equal to negative 6 minus square root of 10 now we will try to verify the first one solution that is a is equal to negative 6 is the exact and correct real solution of this interesting maximum pattern algebra problem or not so we will verify this value here and to verify the value of a here we will write our problem again now our problem is simply a plus 3 times a plus 5 times a plus 7 times a plus 9 is equal to 9 let's plus a is equal to negative 6 so this equation will become a is negative 6 so this will become negative 6 plus 3 times negative 6 plus 5 negative 6 plus 7 and this is negative 6 plus 9 is equal to 9 now this is simply negative 3 times this is negative 1 times this is simply 1 and this is 3 is equal to 9 now negative time negative is positive 3 times 3 is 3 times 1 times 3 is 3 is equal to 9 the 3 times 3 is simply 9 is equal to 9 now since both sides are equal so it means that a is equal to negative 6 is the exact and correct value of a so finally a is equal to negative 6 and these two values are the exact and correct values of a and solutions of this beautiful algebra math problem and last don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math solutions thanks for watching